Hi all. In today's video, I will discuss how to use pawn forks to create a double attack. I will start with simple examples and gradually move on to more complex situations. Have a look at this position. It's white to play. Whenever you see two pieces placed exactly one square apart on the same rank, they may be vulnerable to a pawn fork. Here black's knights on the fourth rank are placed a square apart, so f3 wins one of them. Generally, when there are more pieces on the board, it's easy to overlook a pawn fork. Hence, if you try remembering the pattern of looking for two pieces placed one square apart on the same rank, then you may find pawn forks more easily. Sometimes, it's quite annoying when you see a fork but cannot play it unless you move your own piece out of your way. Here black intends to play f6 and fork the white knight, but his queen currently sits on f6. In such a case, the forking square has to be vacated violently. What I mean by violently is that the move should not allow your opponent to gain a tempo to reposition his pieces. For example, if black plays something like queen d8, then white gets to move one of his knights and the forking opportunity is lost. Hence black should play queen captures queen so that white has to recapture with his king. Now black can comfortably play f6. Here again, it's white to play. Usually when a bishop or a queen is one of the pieces that you intend to fork with a pawn, you need to make sure that the pawn is protected. Otherwise the bishop can just capture it and then there's no fork anymore. In this position, however, black's bishop is pinned. If it moves, white simply plays rook captures rook. So since the bishop is pinned, white can play d5 and win a piece. Again, I would like to emphasize on the fact that whenever a bishop or a queen is one of the pieces that you want to fork, you need to make sure that the pawn is protected. If white plays f4 straight away, black can simply take it with the bishop and the forking opportunity is lost. Another point to be kept in mind is that sometimes a check can be used to get your pieces out of a fork. Okay, anyway, let's get back to the position. So f4 doesn't work and g3 followed by f4 is too slow. It gives black plenty of time to save his pieces. In fact, he can even inflict the check on d4. So that's not a good option. Consider knight captures bishop. How would black respond? Maybe with rook captures knight. And now black's rook and knight are arranged in the pattern of being one square apart. So white can now play f4 and win a piece. Check out this position. It's white to play. Black's king on g6 looks quite immobile. Notice that if the black king could be forced to go to f5, the king and queen would be one square apart on the fifth rank, and then white would be able to fork with g4. Keeping this in mind, white starts with bishop f5, check. Now the king has two options. One is to take the bishop, and the other is to go to h6. We look at both variations. Suppose king captures bishop. White obviously responds with g4, check. After king captures pawn, pawn captures queen, check. King captures pawn, pawn captures pawn, and finally king captures pawn. We can see that white is definitely winning. Now let's go back and see what happens if the king decides not to take the bishop but to instead go to h6. White can then play rook b6, check. Black can obviously block the check with the bishop, but then white has bishop g4, and the black queen is trapped. And now play would continue as follows. As you can see, black really has nothing to play for from this position. It looks like white isn't doing too well in this position. His knight is pinned and also threatened by one of black's pawns. However, it's white to play and he has a move 
with which he can equalize. Pause the video and see if you can find the best sequence for white. Okay, white starts with rook captures e7 with the idea of forcing the king to e7. So after king captures rook, black's king and queen have been set up for the pawn fork. White can now play d6, enjoying protection from the pinned knight. Black's best response is to play queen captures d6. After knight captures queen and king captures knight, white has managed to at least equalize, if not have a positional edge.